All right, guys, welcome to today's war room meeting. I uh, just want to share with you what's on the radar. We actually took a trade in the London Live Room uh, this morning. Uh, we actually, first of all, we actually missed uh, a, <laughs> I missed the trade on the on the lower time frames. We had this Gartley pattern on the on the dollar yen. Very very quick pain free winner. Uh, didn't didn't hit that. Missed that. It actually filled just before the room opened, and. Um, wasn't able to get involved, but a couple of things on the radar, both counter trend. Well, there's a few things on the radar. I'm going to share with you a couple of them uh, and anything else that progresses, I'll put onto the trade floor software. And, uh, and, and if you're wondering why this is a, a little bit pre-recorded, I'm shooting this about half hour before the war room. And the reason is because we're having some, uh, still having some technical problems and um, the office that I've been using to shoot the war room from temporarily they had a big function on, so I wasn't able to go there. But still delivering the war room to you. It's only half hour out, so if you're if you're if you're trading, it shouldn't make too much difference. But the first trade I want to show you is on the euro dollar. So as we approach uh, the one two fifty level, so the twelve fifty level, twelve sixty level, this is one of the areas in this market that I have written down. I've used to build into my discretion as a trader. Okay, there were certain levels in markets when I was doing my testing that I noticed uh, were respected. Uh, one of them actually, before I go on to the Euro dollar, one of them was actually the 7,500 even handle on the Aussie dollar, okay? So if you look at how price actions respected this 7,500 even handle number, look how the candles are starting to form as we approach that level. And if I zoom out here, just to show you guys, in fact, let's go out to the higher time frame, right? Heck. Heck, let's go out to the, the higher time frame. So I'll bring on the dailies. I think I'm going to have to adjust my uh, my DSR levels here. Let me just adjust these down. If we look, go out to the dailies, look at this level, right? Support, support. Uh, we came, we pushed down, we became resistance, resistance, resistance. We then uh, respected this level every time we tested it. Look at this. Support, 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 resistance, 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 right? Became resistance again, and then support, and then support, and then support, right? We then became support, support, right? So you can see these this is a level that I want to pay attention to. I know that if we approach this level in the future, I know there's a high probability that we're going to see a reaction at that level. And I want to use that as my discretion. I don't want to just forget about these numbers. right? So uh, when I did my own testing, there were certain levels in the market that allowed me to override uh, some filters in my trade plan and become a little bit more aggressive because I didn't want to miss opportunities. And I know that these are high probability uh, opportunities. So one of the areas I'm looking at is actually on this Aussie dollar, but there's not really a way for me to get involved at the moment. I'm looking for an entry in uh, or a break and close above, because guess what? If we break and close these highs uh, and we see a, a push up to the upside, well, the chances are if we pull back down, this 7,500 even handle is going to provide a decent level of support. So that's something to pay attention to a little bit later on. Uh, but what I was really looking at is the euro dollar. Similarly, this 112.50 level is an area that I like to pay attention to. And if we draw on, in fact, if we extend our DSR across, look, you can see uh, we had our previous structure consolidation level up here. All of the resistance levels were being held at that level. Uh, we then spiked up here and held that level. And we're approaching that level again which means I, I want to pay attention to what's going to happen here because I know that I might be able to get a little bit of profit off of this counter trend move. But I know that I want a good risk reward. I want the, the trade to be in my favor. Okay. Uh, and as we approach this level, look what's been happening recently. We've put in a higher high, outside return, higher high, outside return, higher high. You can see price action just went over um, higher high. OK, and we've started to stall. We're, we're no longer putting in those strong moves. And you can see this big bullish, um, this big bullish candle here. And then we start to slow down. We've got a couple of doji candles there. And as we drop down to my 60 minute time frame, what you're going to see is we actually went over bought. We've got some 
bearish divergence. We put in a double top here, okay? And I saw this, and I that coupled with the area in the market that I want to pay attention to allowed me to get involved. And what we took this morning is, I'm just going to bring on my trade here to show you guys. Uh, I had a double, I used this as a double top entry. Um, stop loss went an ATR above the highs. So my stop loss is up at 112.84. I've got my targets down at 12.14. Again, I'd take in one position for the syndicate. Um, I'm, I'm, the reason I've got my target there is because it's structure. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get filled this. It'll be a nice uh, 40, 40 odd pip win. And, uh, and I'll update you guys if we get filled. But I just want to give you... I just want to stress the importance of identifying targets because lots of people put a lot of effort into identifying entries into a trade, but then they don't realize that you need to put just as, mount, just a, as much uh, into your target taking because what's the point in entering into a trade if you don't, if you don't know how to capitalize on that trade and where the, where the sweet spot is, as we call it, to take your profits. That's why backtesting is so important. And I know I harp on about backtesting all the time, uh, but this is the trade that I'm in, guys. Um, backtesting will really help you with identifying areas for target taking as well as entries, so make sure you pay attention to that. Um, when you're when you're crunching those numbers and that's that's what I'm in on the euro dollar guys so that hopefully we can hit targets on that and the other trade that I want to share with you is on the New Zealand dollar so it's another counter trend trading opportunity we're pushing up to another level that I like in this market 70 50 uh, we are approaching previous structure again if you draw on the horizontal line tool here you're going to see Previous structure resistance, resistance. We saw some uh, some support here once we broke through. We had a gap as well. We had support, support, support. Okay. Resistance, resistance. And we're approaching that level again. Another level I want to pay attention to. Uh, drop down to my trading time frame. And you see this big bullish move here. Strong bullish move. Look, what's that? One. We've had one, two, three, four. We had a little pause here, but 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bullish candles in a row. Okay, the market is starting to run out of steam. Look at the RSI, well overbought here. The RSI is massively overbought. We're up, currently up at 90. Okay, the RSI is conventionally considered overbought at 70, bear that in mind. And we're approaching this DSR zone. So the DSR is telling us where that major level of structure is already it's drawn it on our chart for us and uh, those of you who got the training if you look if you uh, you know i know you got lots of value from that but if you remember todd brown's uh, example there you can see look we had retests of this structure level became a major level of structure this is the one this is the daily dsr level on the four hour time frame you can see we're approaching that level again we've had a big bullish momentum move um, we've got RSI overbought. Market should start to run out of steam. What do you think I'm going to be looking for at this level? Double top, right? Double top. Now I can drop down to my lower time frame and get that on the 60. So I'm just patiently waiting for a double top on the 60. Uh, and then if I get one, I can enter this exactly the same way as I entered the, uh, the euro dollar. We can hopefully... Um, up. Ah, in fact... I've just been filled. I've just been filled the euro dollar, so you can see that we just took out my order there. Uh, that was forty-two pips, so I'll update that in the uh, in the trade floor. Uh, but I'll be looking at exactly the same entry on this. So we're way off on this one, guys, and I will update you as and when. The only other thing on the radar is this cipher pattern, but I'm sure Akil uh, is is monitoring this. So whether I shoot it in or not, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So not a bad little win there in the war room and uh, i'll be back tomorrow to update you on this and uh, anything changes i'll shoot it into the trade floor and until tomorrow have a great rest of your day and i'll see you then all right gang here's the deal the syndicate has become the most popular program that we offer here at trade empowered not just because of the incredible price but because of what you are getting for your investment now here's how it works. Each day we hold a morning war room meeting where you're going to find out exactly what trades that we're watching here at the office. 
The meetings are normally about 10 to 15 minutes long and they're designed to get you dialed in on the highest probability trades of the day. Each trade that we take, both uh, when we get in and when we get out, are all posted to our private trade floor software that only you have access to. And the new upgrades to trade floor make it accessible from any web browser or mobile device so that you never miss a trade update. Take it with you, wherever you want to go. In addition, we do weekly recaps and training videos with discussions on trading psychology and technical analysis and a whole lot more. And to round it all out, I'm also going to give you access to the first module of my foundational training course. So if you've ever wondered things like, why do markets really move? Or, or how do you find the best broker? Or, or what's the best computer for you in your trading? All that stuff's in the foundational course, along with some really great training on Fibonacci and structure analysis too. So, now, I could charge a whole ton of money for this stuff and make it really, really expensive, but I'm not going to do that to you. It's not $100. It's not $200. Bucks. In fact, I'm so sure that you're going to love the program that I'm going to give you an entire month in the syndicate for just a dollar. And for the price of a third of a cup of coffee, you are going to get to spend the next month looking over the shoulder of some of the most knowledgeable and skilled traders in the business. So sign up right now. We are just a few hours away from the next war room, and time's running out.